Egyptian trance masters Ella and Fila play Lush in Port Rush tomorrow night. And one half of the duo, Fila, is with me. Evening. Hello, hello, Phil. How are you? I'm very good. This year has been a massive success for yourselves. Position 20th in the top 100 DJs. That's some achievement. You must be delighted. Yeah, for sure. I'm so happy of this year's success and going up in the DJ Mac Paul. Uh, we had a lot of. We did a lot this year already with the, our first album release, uh, our schedule and touring and everything. Our label joining our mother records and everything like uh, collected together. We have made a lot last year, so um, I think uh, we are gaining now that I passed. You know. So hopefully in the future we'll do much more and next year we'll be doing much better, hopefully. When you mentioned the last few years, you've actually been around. Your journey started in 1999. The first time I was, uh, I traveled, like the first gig I, I attended as a clubber was in Germany, in Berlin. Uh, it was Paul Van Dyke playing and since then I was like, I'm loving this sound of music and I bought the CDs and I went back to Egypt, uh, showed it to Ali. We were like very good friends. so was sharing the music that I really liked and he liked it so much too so we said like oh come on we need to do this kind of music we need to do this style we really like it and then it started and then we had our first release in 2003 Music's changed dramatically on to CDJs now if you were asked to play a one-off vinyl set would you consider this? Yeah I would love to because I started with playing on vinyl I got a turntable I have thousands of vinyls in my library right now so I would love to play the I have a lot of records that I have to check because a lot of stuff that I've been, I didn't play since a long time, but I'm sure I have a lot of classics even people doesn't know about, you know? Armada is a massive record label. Armin van Buren is a massive supporter of you. Are you a big fan of his? Yeah, for sure, yeah. I'm a big fan of everything he does because he's a really, like, he's kind of DJ who gives a chance to new people. He really supports everyone and it's up to you at the end. If you do your best, you can achieve more and more, you know? But Armin is always like supporting all the new talents and giving them the chance for uh, that people can listen to them all over the world, you know. So I think Armin, we owe him a lot for his support, and we are very thankful for for that. He's a really good DJ. Also, you can never you can never say when, go a gig where Armin is playing and you never be happy. He always he always delivers and he, he always does his best. I witnessed him for the first time in Ibiza. I've seen him many, many times before this, but in Ibiza, particularly, he played the Swedish House Mafia and put a loop on the previous tune and the place just went absolutely mental. Would you say that Armin is your number one DJ in the world? Uh, it's, a, it's a tough question because, uh, yeah, Armin is a, um, is a very good DJ. I would, I would say he's like in my top two DJs because my favourite has to be to be full of night. You're playing Lush tomorrow night. You haven't played in Northern Ireland for over two years. You must be really excited to get back. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm really excited to do that, man. Yeah, the Irish crowd is one of the best I've seen in all over the world. Working together with Ali, your working relationship is a bit of a raving relationship. Do you ever sort of get a bit fed up of seeing each other? No, we, we don't really see each other uh, every day. We... Everyone has his own uh, life right now, you know, girlfriends and stuff, and <laughs> so we cannot meet all the time. But we do uh, have, like, we have to meet one time per week, stay in the studio together, work, and uh, just check what he's gonna do, plan, and so on. So we always like have a priority of the work for sure, and we always sit together and work. And on the same time, everyone has his own studio, so we always work in parallel, you know. Like, I'm working in my studio in something, Ali's working something in his studio, and then we meet and uh, gather ideas and so on. From now until the end of the year, you take in Kuala Lumpur, a tour of Australia, Switzerland, Birmingham, India, and you finish off the year uh, on New Year's Eve in Vancouver. How do you balance studio life, as you've just said, relationships, and just everyday life? How do you balance that? Yeah, it's really a tough one, man. It's a tough one, yeah. Uh, I always try to do my best. And I all, on the same time, when I'm on the road, I have my laptop. I have a strong laptop, which has all my uh, softwares and everything. So I always try to compose, maybe uh, in the hotel or uh, in my flight. I always try to go, to write the ideas and so on. And maybe when I go back to Egypt, I just start working in my main studio on it and continue it and so on. Where would be your favorite place to play in the world? Till now, I have to say it's Argentina in Buenos Aires, my favorite. Now. When you're DJing as Ala and Fila, do you plan your sets before or do you just go into the club and judge it on the atmosphere? Yeah, I would say um, 
sometimes I have in mind which are the big tracks that I have to play or I have to pass. So I always have like a couple of tracks that I know that I have to play it so anyways. But I always keep the start and how I end depends on the atmosphere in the club. So if, if I need to start like slower, I start slower and then bang at the end or the other way around, you know. Depends on the night, depends who's playing before me, depends who's playing after me, depends if it's a carnival, a festival, whatever. You know, if I have one hour set, if I have three hours set, it always depends, it's changing always. So I cannot, I can never like have a, a fixed playlist, you know, that I don't like, I, I won't enjoy it even. I'll see you tomorrow night in Lush and I'm very much looking forward to it, so we'll see you both then. Yeah man, looking forward to see you and see all the Irish clubbers there and hopefully it'll be a great night.